Hello golfers, welcome back to JD Golf TV, your home for playing better faster. Today's video is on the coolest little drill you've ever seen to clean up the backswing. So let's get after it. Folks, have you ever caught yourself kind of fanning the club face wide open early on the backswing? The handle moves out away from you. The club moves way in. We get it super to the inside over this way. And then when you throw it way inside, it comes over the top and keeps coming down that way. Well, this little baby drill may just change your life. Clean up your backswing and what we call plane it up, meaning... Uh, well, swing plane is a little bit misunderstood. People don't really know swing plane from airplane for the most part, but basically speaking, the club is riding along the roof of the house. That'd be the definition of plane. Now, we know that it's a little bit more advanced than that nowadays, and I will try to explain that to you. But this is the coolest little thing. You know those grips with the little rib reminder? Well, we're going to put this alignment stick right over this away on the bottom of the grip. Hopefully you can see that just fine. That way I can hold it normally just in the crook of my fingers. And we're gonna come down to address. Hello ball. Okay, here we go, normal address position. Now, what we're sick of is flaring the face open, having the handle come out away from the golf ball and doing some really cool looking stuff like this. What happens, you get super flat really early because you're trying to set the wrists, but you're not really setting the wrists. You're rolling your arms, which is not that good. Okay, It goes more like this. It goes back really inside, and then the momentum of the club takes it up over your head, and then we keep coming down this way. So if that's your move, this is really, really going to change your life as a golfer from a dress position. Only two positions in golf, address and finish. We're going to go back. As I turn back, I'm going to run this club shaft right down my leg. Okay, I like this because it keeps my attention in what I can feel in those hands of mine. I'm so used to using my hands, right? Because that's what we do as humans. This is a really handy-dandy exercise. Okay, good address. All right, turning, running it down the leg. So first is down the leg. And you can see this club now can't get too far inside. And to be quite honest, it would be really, uh, it would be really hard for me to fan the face open too. Okay, this is a really wonderful exercise. Okay, step one, down the leg as I turn. Step two, in between the target line or the ball and my feet. Okay. Way easy, darling. Get back there, you. Okay, down the leg, inside the ball, and if I am, well, flexible enough, we'll have to see, I'm going to have to put a little momentum in it. Down the leg, there it goes. It's going to point back at the wall behind me. And that's the complete backswing. Now, do not, please, I'm begging you, don't get caught up in thinking you have to get this iron club back to peril to the ground. John Rahm disagrees. That is not true. I don't know where the heck it came from. But in the world of swing plane, we'd call it, if the club was less than parallel to the ground, it would still be pointing right around the target line. Okay, that's the idea of plane. The club is swinging up the roof of the house and down the roof of the house at an angle. You can visualize a house. We can go farther. So, down the leg, inside the ball, at the wall, now, here's the tricky part, okay? When I come down, it should be slightly outside the target line. Now, this is a really big deal. Now, to be quite honest, a lot of you, just by getting the first three, down the leg, inside the ball, at the wall, you may find your downswing coming down beautifully for you because you've got the club so well organized. There's one, two, three, now it's slightly outside and hit it. And now from there, you can actually do the little, I'm sure you've seen this with this drill to stop flipping where I go through and try not to let this club shaft hit me. So that's five steps. 
Let's go through that again. And I'm going to get the feel. All right, I'm not going to need this very long. So it's leg inside the ball, at the wall, outside the ball. Don't hit myself. Man, that's really cool. Now, what are you going to do next? You're going to take out the help. Do not become addicted to video feedback. Do not become addicted to launch monitor data. You must learn to feel, see, otherwise sense what you are doing. Okay? Remember, when we play golf, we are naked before the whole world. It's what you really can show that you know, not what you can explain. All right, now, same feel, down the leg. Yep, at the wall, outside. Oh, I went a little too far in the follow through. Ah, rats. But that is a really good example of controlling that. When I'm hitting this golf ball, it is so important when all of us are hitting this golf ball, we should have some wonderful feel for this golf club in our hands. And if we don't, folks, if you cannot feel this club, the weight on the end of the stick is what I call it. If you can't feel that during your swing, you could be in a lot of trouble. If you can't feel it, you might not be paying attention to it. You don't know where it is. What are we doing again? Yeah, do it in, it's a progression, it's serial. Go with no speed at first. So, down the leg, there it is. Inside the ball, okay. At the wall, outside the ball, and turn through without killing myself. Here we go. Oh, I went right through it, didn't I? I'm cheating, sorry folks. You're gonna need some video. Chances are you're gonna need to slow it down. Now, I'm gonna give you one bonus exercise for it. I'm gonna take our stick back out again. And every once in a while, if I'm feeling real salty, watch this one, I go the opposite way. Well, it's not the opposite way. I go the other leg. So when we go back now, I'm back here, and I'm going down the right leg. Okay, that works beautifully also. Generally speaking, I'll try the first one that we did, and if necessary, I'll get into this one, and that will help. Oh, baby, same thing. Right down the leg. To be honest with that one, all I have to do is down the leg at the wall. Outside the ball, go. As with everything that I've shown you, folks, I'm trying to help you learn it. You've got to slow down. You need feedback. Make sure that this camera right in this wall right here is going right down the target line, and it's right about on my hands. Okay, I have it a little bit higher than the normal person has it. That's because I'm used to looking at things a certain way. Be consistent with your camera placement. It'll help you. Okay, get after it.